Hello everyone, I'm Vihem Gamel, I'm a game artist. In this video I will show you how to sculpt wood in ZBrush, especially when you don't have luxury of time to spend on such an asset. So we're gonna use alpha. I picked some alphas that I like uh, on ArtStation, you can use them or you can find your own. The first thing you will do is using a mask because in this door you will have some uh, vertical uh, planes and other horizontal so it's good to uh, just mask the horizontal uh, planes for now so I would be able to uh, work on the vertical planes only then I would switch that so now I'm, ma I'm masking all horizontal planes And I would like to start with uh, using the alpha. I'm just working with a standard brush and using a drag rectangle to drag uh, the alpha. Uh, when I work with alpha, I usually like to change the, the intensity uh, and the, the size of the brush because this could give it like different look in different wares. Yeah, I keep just switching between a uh, few alphas that I'm using uh, with different sizes and different uh, intensities. This could uh, make me be able to avoid the repetition of the look, as you see. So all alphas I'm using was just a standard brush. And now I'm playing with the intensity. Yeah, to give it like different look and just keep in mind you want to avoid the repetition. Yeah, and um, also you like to add more damage when you come to uh, the lower part of the door uh, comparing to the top part of the door. Uh, the same you would do when you're adding uh, some damages to the edges comparing to the center of the door because that's where uh, you would see uh, more damage and more tear and wear on the, on the model. So we're just gonna focus and increase intensity when it comes to the lower part of the door and uh, the edges comparing to the top part and the center part of the door. Yeah, now I can uh, find using a trim smooth border could be helpful too because uh, alpha is not enough. You wanna go to the edges and start to make it look uh, uh, sharper and have some damages. So trim smooth border is something uh, you would like to use while you're sculpting um, wood planks. Uh, in this example, the, the wooden door, uh, I didn't work in the silhouette much because as the door is not that damaged, uh, in some wood pieces, like if you're making a, a old wooden cart, you would uh, see like more breakage on the wood uh, planks itself and you would uh, change the silhouette a lot so uh, I wouldn't start with just using an alpha I would love to start with a trim smooth border uh, the, same you, the same you could do when you're uh, sculpting a rock you just want to give it like uh, the basic shape the basic silhouette uh, and then uh, you would go to like uh, going from big shapes to uh, medium details then small and tiny details I would love to use the damage standard as well because this could help me refine some uh, fine lines as you see. So uh, using an alpha is helpful and save time but you're not gonna use it alone. You wanna add work on it after that. So uh, all I'm using while cutting wood is just trim smooth border uh, to uh, change the edges and then standard to uh, refine the fine lines and uh, of course standard uh, because that's the brush I'm using the alpha with. Now because uh, many of you were asking me to uh, post videos with uh, real-time speed so I just made like a quick version uh, right now and I would leave you now for like uh, real-time speed video with you when you will be able to uh, observe all small uh, details if you wanna follow along. 
Thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.